Our Mastiff shut down on me in the middle of a field. I try my first cat rescue and we revisit our Connie Corso. Let's sit with some dogs. One of the first things I did when I got here is I went to go check up on our boy Marty and I was shocked. Now, in case you didn't see the last video, when he came in, he was just completely shut down out of fear. And the staff did a really good job of getting him into the kennel. I got an opportunity to sit with him. And when I told him he was a good boy, you could just see something change in his body. So I wanna see how he's doing right now. Check up on him. Gonna make sure he's okay. Hi, buddy. Hi. Marty, is that a tail wag? Whoa, what is this? Look at that. Oh, and I heard he, yep, he's on the dog walking program. Oh, look at that, you're eating? That's a good sign, it means he's comfortable. Who is this completely different dog? Hi, buddy. Hi. What a different dog. I can't believe how happy he is. Let's sit with him. Look, what a difference. You're up, you got a tail wag, look at this thing. Ah! <laughs> hey, okay, so, what's this say? Okay, so Marty is officially now available for adoption. I mean, let me read you the notes from the dog walking program. The first dog walk said, sat with him and then took him on a slip leash to the tree and back. It is super sweet, but very confused and scared. Okay, that, that was the first dog walk. Makes total sense. Second one says, loves back scratches and butt scratches. Yes, <laughs> can confirm. <laughs> Got to the tree, braver today, but when he sees other dogs, he starts to cry. Third dog walk says uh, he hovers when he sees another dog and is scared. The last and final walk that he had today says walked short field, walked great, and I love him. <laughs> yeah, he he is a lovable dog. He's still, okay, little jump there still. Sorry, I should take it kind of close. Um, he's a level two dog walker. So what level two means, you need to be an advanced dog walker. And the reason for that can often be because it's a big dog or a dog that pulls a lot. For him, in his case, it's because he's a dog that is scared. And so you have to know how to just take it slow with him. And if he gets into a panic situation, how to get him out of that. But wow, what a different dog. Hi, bud. Look at that. That makes me so happy. You make me so happy, buddy. Let me tell you something. Oh, you, you want a pet? Look at that, do you see that little nudge? Let me tell you something. There are a lot of people out there that are rooting for you. And I know that there is someone out there that will want to take you home very soon. Because now that you're available for adoption, and you're ready to go home, there's gonna be someone out there that's willing to put in the patience and the time with you. Sitting with Marty, I realized he kept looking at the front of the kennel and I think it's because he wanted to go on a walk. And I would love to see how he does on a walk. Now, I am a level two dog walker at the shelter, so I can take him on a walk, but a little teaser. I ran into something on this walk that I was absolutely not prepared for. And I gotta cut in real quick to tell you, if you're seeing this now, you gotta order a Barksgiving right away before they're sold out. What is Barksgiving, you ask? Well, it's Thanksgiving, but for dogs. I make them every year for shelter dogs because they deserve deserve Thanksgiving just like your family does. And my team works around the clock, having the ovens bake night and day to make as many Barksgiving dinners as we can. We can only make about, I don't know, a little under a thousand of them because we handcraft each and every one. It's not cheap, it's premium because it's a whole Thanksgiving dinner for your dog but we'll sell out fast. If you're seeing this video like seven days later, it's too late, don't even bother. But if you're seeing it right now, when the video first came out, go to thedogbakery.com and order your Barksgiving before they're gone. I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also put it right here on the screen. All right, back to the video, get it before it's gone. All right, you'll, you'll see what happens, but let's go on the walk first. Coming. Good boy, good boy. He's not nearly as scared as I thought he was gonna be. You can tell the walks have been helping him. I'm gonna get him away from that traffic as soon as possible. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah, there sure is. I wanna cut in here and walk you through a little bit of what's happening because I wanna make sure that Marty is safe. He's gone far enough. Like that little walk right there is enough for Marty today. The cat completely shut him down. Just the smell of the cat, the energy, the traffic, I actually had to take a minute and think, what do we do right now? Because we don't have any of the right tools. We don't have a net, a carrier, the things you would need to catch a cat safely. Okay, 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 come on, it's okay, come on. And you can hear Marty crying, and I knew in that moment, 
my goal needed to be getting him back into the shelter safely and assuring him that everything was gonna be okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, good boy, good boy. Okay, you did good. I know that was hard, but it was you did good. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Marty? You're a good boy. You're a good boy, Marty. Yeah. Now he just needs a home. Good boy. Okay. All right, Marty's safe. Now we gotta get that cat though, because that cat is right by traffic. So we gotta get this figured out and fast. Okay, while we're figuring that out, I want to introduce you to this dog that caught my eye that is definitely in need of some support. If you're a dog lover, you've probably heard before that in stressful situations, dogs typically have a fight or flight reaction. But over the years, spending time with shelter dogs, I've experienced that there's also a freeze state. And that's where this little girl's at right now. And it's a problem because dogs can't get out of this state on their own. And she'll continue to get passed by because most people won't see her as a fun, loving, playful family dog as they walk the rows of kennels. Let's go sit with her and see if we can help. Alexis, what's her story? She was found as a stray and there is literally nothing on her. Stop just say that she stays in that corner all day. You know, sometimes there's just not any info on the pets and it's, it's not because someone hasn't done a good job of filling out the information there's just no info if she was just picked up as a stray it breaks my heart she's got kind of some uh, like bites or wounds on her hip you can see her spine so she's definitely skinny she's not relaxing like she's not putting her head down she's just kind of in that state of fear and alertness i think maybe we start with the tree The nice thing about having the camera is I can look and watch what she's doing because I don't want to make eye contact. I also don't want her to bite my finger off, <laughs> you know? All right, there's some interest. That's good. Hi, sweetie. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. I don't know how you got here. Whatever happened to you, you did not deserve it. And I'm here to help. I'm in your corner, quite literally. <laughs> We're gonna, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna leave this treat right here for you. Sit, I got a little side eye from her there. Oh. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, that makes me happy. That's like, that's our first little entry point into her starting to come out of her shell and know that it's gonna be okay. That's all I need, I just need like a little gap. There you go. Good girl. Huh? You see that, she will not take it from my hand yet. See how she's requiring me to look away before she takes a treat? She's so tense, like her neck is so stiff. She's definitely not enjoying the pets yet. But we're gonna keep them going because we just wanna warm her up to the idea that pets and treats are good things. I have an idea. You know, it's different than the scoop that I normally do, but it'll count. She's checking me out, that's good. That little sniff right there, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to replay it. But that's always a big step. You want, you want a dog to check you out, you know? Like I know I want to inspect her, but more so I want her to inspect me because if she inspects me and goes, okay, this, this guy's okay, that's good girl that's a good girl like I don't think you can see it on camera but she is trembling you can see it in her eyes so see how she's got like a little wound right there and you can see her spine right there see that oh poor little girl I am sorry and I don't know what you've been through but I'll tell you this it's only gonna get better from here we're gonna get you a loving family and they're gonna give you treats. Maybe they'll even have a backyard. You'll go on walks. And I know it's a little scary right now. And I know you don't know where you're at. It's loud and it's noisy. There's a whole team here that cares a lot about you. What should we call you? One of the hardest parts 
for me that always just gets me still every time. You know, she's just hiding in the back corner here and she doesn't have a name. Maybe she had a name before in this life, but we don't know it now. A name is really a gateway to allow people to love you, for you to build friends and family. And without a name, it's really hard to do that. How about, I don't know, the thing that comes to mind right out of the gate is Carly. What about Carly? Carly, yeah. Carly. Oh, yeah, Carly. Hi, Carly. My treat, Carly? Good girl. Carly, I love you. We're gonna get this figured out, okay? Initially, I started to set her down up at the front of the kennel, but I realized this is something that she's gonna have to do when she's ready. I put her back in her spot, and I'm hoping that our little time together helped. Oh, Carly is such a sweet dog. We have to come up with a solution for her. But quick, back to the kitty cat. What is gonna happen? We've had a lot of uh, cats coming out of nitro. Oh, we okay. people throwing cats yeah. over nitro and, and them them dipping out. So we have like three or four cats on the property right now that are we think are from nitro. Wait, hold on. You heard that right. She's not kidding. People will throw their cats over the night drop versus securing them in the kennel and leaving notes. This is a screenshot of actual security cam footage of this happening. And the cats just jump out and run off and now they're stray and in dangerous situations just like this one. The first thing I did is I went to Cattery, but I realized I should be going to animal control. So I went to find LT. I was out walking one of the dogs and there's a cat in the drain. We checked the cameras to see if we could see what the cat looked like so he could let his animal control officers know and we could take action. Okay, because here she is. Yep. And there you are. Perfect. Okay. And then, oh, there goes, there goes Kelly. Ah. Oh, you can't see it. Dang it. Unfortunately, we couldn't see it. The cat was hidden behind the pole. So there's only one thing to do at this point. We got to head out there and see if we can help this cat. I mean, she's right there too, you know? Yeah. You think we can get someone with a net and just grab her? Now, typically when you find a cat, they're gonna run away from you. But LT starts calling to the cat and the cat starts coming to him. Unbelievable. We could actually catch this cat. All right, LT thinks we can save this cat. He jumps into action to go get a carrier. So we'll have a secure place for this kitty if we can catch her. She definitely, like she's somebody's cat. She wants to be. She wants help, she needs help. I decided to get down into the ditch, get a little closer, invite the cat to come sit with me, to sit with the cats. <laughs> I know this show is called Sitting With Dogs, but in this case, sitting with stray cats. You know, I didn't have anything with me. I usually carry dog treats and a leash, but I don't carry stuff to help rescue a cat. And so I had nothing. The only thing I had was affection. Yeah, good girl. Good guy, come here. It's a good kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. kitty. But you know what? It worked. She came up to me and wanted me to pet her. Wow, amazing. Talk about the right place at the right time. Now, at this point, I wanted to try and pick her up and carry her in. And she let me pick her up a little bit, but the last thing I wanted to do was pick her up, have her halfway across the parking lot, and have her just do what cats do sometimes and panic and flail around, scratch my arms, run off and run into traffic. So it wasn't gonna work, but here's the good news. LT and Alexis were both looking for a crate so that we could get her and put her in that. So at this point, it's just a waiting game. Yeah, she's not gonna let me pick her up and carry her. The thing is, she's super friendly. She's so skinny. Thank goodness you saw her. I was just trying to film you guys and also not fall and just kind of be aware of my surroundings. Filming is not always easiest, especially when you have like rocks and terrain and ditches. Yeah, and she just kind <laughs> and of jumped out. she just out. jumped out and I was like, almost, Cat! almost started running across the street, huh? Yeah. Good eye. I can't believe you like spotted it with all that going on. You knew she had like blue eyes and she was gray with stripes. Yeah. Wow. Good work. You just saved a cat today. I hope so. Okay, you ready? Yep. Good girl. <laughs> what? <laughs>
thought I was gonna get my arms clawed off. Is this your first cat rescue? This is by far my first cat rescue. Oh, darling. Oh my goodness, my heart's racing. Okay, okay, let's take her inside. Whoa, we saved a cat. I can't believe it, what an awesome team effort. I'm so proud of the whole team for jumping in to help make this happen. And now though, we still have to find out, is this cat a boy or a girl? What should we name the cat? Do they have a microchip? And so I am taking this cat into intake. There's someone ahead of me, so we gotta wait for a minute, but then we're gonna go through that whole process. Can I just jump in here real quick and say that all of you who have become members, I am so grateful. And if you haven't become a member, you wanna join, you get first insights as to when a dog's been adopted, if they've been returned or whatever's going on, you're the first to know. And it just helps us continue to do what we're doing. So I'd love to have you be a part of this community. Just hit that join button. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Hi what happened? Why are you back, darling? Now, if you remember, in a previous video of mine, Sophia was actually adopted. The family gave it everything they could, but with the kids and the puppies and Sophia's condition, it just didn't work out. And then she was adopted again and returned again. And I know what you're thinking. Why does she keep getting returned? Well, remember, a lot of the dogs I'm working with are the special needs dogs, the hard case dogs. It's why I'm focusing on them. Thousands of pets get adopted each year from the shelter and live happily in their forever homes. And very few of them get returned. But placing a shutdown Cane Corso is not easy. It's always so tough when a dog like this that's timid comes back because she doesn't know if this is safe at home base or if a home is. She came in with her mom and, and she doesn't have her mom anymore. So she's really going through that situation where she's kind of just lonely. You know, dogs can get lonely too. It's not just us. She's still so nervous. She's still so nervous, huh? Let me just tell you this, it's not your fault, okay, darling? It's not your fault. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah. She's a good girl. You want the whole stick? She's not opening up to me, but I do know someone that she's really connected with. Why did she get returned? Hard to deal with puppies. She had an eight-week-old Chihuahua puppy and a 10-month-old Cane Corso puppy. Yeah, that's too much, huh? And then took down their 65-inch TV. <laughs> Just anxiety, you think? Yeah, because they left her they left her oh. loose in the home. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. My mama show for show for show for show. She's so sweet, but yeah, she's just she's gonna need some like time to decompress, and mm -hmm. you can't just leave her in a big open space at home. Mm -hmm. What would be the perfect home for her? Someone that works from home. That's yeah, always there. Just be there with her. Yeah. You took the treat from her. Yeah, she will not take him from me. Like even if I put him on the floor, she won't take him from me. Yeah. Look at that. Well, look at that. This is good because it shows how sweet she is. Because mm -hmm. like when I was in here with her, she was not having it. You want this? I don't think she watch my, watches my YouTube channel. No. <laughs> you want that? Hey, uh, so Sophia is back. She got returned, but I'm sitting with her right now, and I just, I'm in love with her. We gotta figure out how to get her adopted into the right home. Um, well, she actually does have a cold, uh, so it looks like somebody is coming for her. They're driving right now to do a meet and greet. Really? Right now? Yeah, yeah, I ju I'm just seeing oh, it, like right now. Yeah, sorry, I scared her, I got too excited. <laughs> okay, that's really great. Okay, I'm gonna give her some space so she can decompress before her potential new mom is here. We'll check in on her soon. Puppy alert! I found two of the cutest big squishy puppies that I wanna go sit with. It's one of the best parts of this job and I can't wait for you to meet them. What, uh, what do you think? I think they know it's in my fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where I keep the treats, guys? They're so cute. Huh? They are so cute. Oh my gosh. They're so soft, too. Yeah. Like, they feel like little teddy bears. Okay, that, this one's Yoshi. And this one with the red collar is Bingo. She is available for adoption, and so is he. I think Kobe would really love these little puppies. I don't think that's the case. No? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, they would be roughhousing nonstop. Kobe would get worked up in a tizzy. He'd just be like, oh, all day. His poor little heart would just be racing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Yoshi, right here, Yoshi needs a family. Yep, Yoshi. <laughs> oh, man, you're trouble. You're a troublemaker. Kelly, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Bingo is going home today. Well, hopefully, Bingo has a hole. So we gotta figure out how to get Yoshi adopted because otherwise Yoshi's the last one of the litter and he's gonna be so alone. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I like big puppies. You know, they're so fun. And their bellies. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, do we have good puppy bellies? Let's do a puppy belly rating. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Let's see yours. 10 out of 10. Oh, I love the puppy bellies. <laughs> oh man, it's like one of the best things in the world. It really is. Just puppy bellies. Anytime you get around a puppy, just grab them and rub and scratch their bellies. They love it too. Yeah, <sighs> they really. It's like one of the only things that gets them to just freeze and melt. Look at this one. Yoshi, it's the first time you said still the whole time I've been in here, bud. I, if Yoshi's the last one today, should we just take him home? We should consider it. <laughs> hi, Bingo, hi. We can't, we can't have another puppy. We got, we got our hands full, but oh my goodness. For everyone who says they want to adopt a puppy, you better run down here to Animal Friends of the Valleys and adopt Yoshi because he is downright perfect. Hello. Hey, you know that those two cute puppies, uh, Yoshi, the one that doesn't have a hold on him or anything? For Yoshi? Yeah, what's Yoshi's story? How did, how did they end up here? So Yoshi and his sibling were found by animal control because they were running around on the streets and that was obviously a safety issue. Oh yeah, man. Could you imagine just finding puppies running around the street? Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, nothing else on them in their story though? One of their holds have failed before oh, okay. uh so they were just still you know desperately searching for a home uh all right thank you for the info oh man yeah so they were just running around on the street puppies trying to survive could you imagine if we we're just driving by and just saw a bunch of puppies out there running around man i'd scoop them up so fast i cannot express enough just how fluffy these guys are though yeah they're really soft you want this one you want this one <laughs> you can take them home today oh he's a good dog you know, as far as puppies go, like they definitely are really great because they have moments where they're calm. Yeah. Like some puppies, there's no, there are no calm moments until well, they're sleeping. When you pick them up to pet up, they aren't like immediately trying to like nibble on you. Right. See, they're like, a lot of puppies would be like. <laughs> Cam check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, fingers crossed then. We gotta figure out something for Yoshi. I don't want him here by himself after all the stuff. I'll, I'll stay here. Oh, <laughs> you can just sleep here tonight? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep him company. Look at this perfect little dog. He fit in the crib with crew real nice. Yeah. Look at this guy. Hey. He's like, give me some more of those puppy belly scratches. If this isn't a perfect example of why everyone should go volunteer at their local shelter or rescue so that you can spend time with little nuggets like this, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Okay, Yoshi, we're gonna figure something out for you today, buddy, because we don't want you here about all by yourself. You'd be so sad. Wait, check this out. Alexis just texted me and said Yoshi got adopters here, but I think she means bingo. Wait, Alexis, you said Yoshi. You mean bingo's adopters here? No, Yoshi's adopters here. What? Yeah. Yoshi? I thought bingo was getting adopted today. Well, that's good. So now we gotta find, uh, now, wait, is, does Bingo still have a hold? Yeah, they Bingo both have a hold now. A yes! They could both go home today. That is fantastic. All right, well, Yoshi, you ready to meet your family? You're going home. You're going home. Seeing Yoshi embraced warmly in his new mom's arms makes me so happy. Congrats, Yoshi, on your new family. Can I just point something out on the adoption board for all the comments I got that I should film more of these little guys. I would like to take credit for highlighting these two in my last video and then them getting adopted. I miss you guys already. See, it's more than just dogs and cats.
It was so awesome being part of the shelter team and rescuing this cat. It took all of us, but we succeeded. But there's still so much to figure out. Is this cat a boy or a girl? Is there a microchip? What's the process like? We're gonna find all of that out now. I have a stray cat that I found. Okay, yeah. um, do you have your ID? Yes. Go ahead and get a copy of that. It's funny, because I had dog treats in my pocket, but I didn't, I had nothing cat. I don't didn't know what to do. See, so you're not prepared. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I need to up my cat rescue skills. Rocky, do you want to name the cat? Oh yeah, what should we name him? Storm or Stormy, depending on. Let's find out if it's a boy or a girl first. But he was in the drain. She was in the drain. Potentially Stormy if it's a girl. In my days of rescue, I've had to bring many dogs to the shelter, but never a cat and never at Animal Friends of the Valleys. So getting to see this process is gonna be really fun and I'm glad we're all doing this together. And one thing I realized is just how important all of the pieces of information are, the surroundings, the cross street, what the cat looks like, what situation they were in, because all of this can be used to potentially help this cat be reunited with their family. Now, it's just about placing her safely in the waiting kennel so that she can go to health Check. Now, Michael, one of the veterinary assistants, was happy to help with her. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're right. He's going to walk us through the whole process to make sure she's healthy and find out all the information we want to know on her. Yeah, not, not too bad, huh? Not too squirrely. Uh, the towel helps. Super great. Yeah, you're a pro. I wouldn't even... The towel is great. It usually helps them feel a lot more calm and they start freaking out of yeah. their head and it really calms them down. Now, that's your cat rescue kit. Absolutely. Yeah. So I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Well, first thing we're gonna do is grab a scanner and check for microchip. No. Oh, no. Oh. All right. Sometimes you know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. I, I mean, think it's a coin flip, regardless. I think it's a girl. Really? Yeah. I was gonna go with boy. Really? It looks like my my answer. Oh, girl. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna name her Stormy because That's she was fitting. in the storm drain. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no microchip and she's acting a little fidgety, but otherwise she's pretty tolerant of the whole process. She's definitely a cat that's used to and enjoys being around people. And that's good to know for the next potential adopter in case her family doesn't come for her. She gets some food, she's starving, you're gonna get the whole thing. Oh yeah, she's so hungry. Huh? Yeah. She also was really hungry and I think that's why she came our way. Okay, time to get her glamour shot for her intake photo. So where does she go from here? So we'll put her in the carrier and Patty will probably house her out in one of the stray. Oh, she's super, super sweet. So hopefully we have one of stray one. She's usually where we put our nicest, nicest cats that come in as strays. She'll be available in five days and there's a chance that she may get moved up to the wall before then, but definitely after five days. So probably at the wall or in one of the community rooms up front, unless she's owned, in which case she'll be home even faster. Right. Perfect. Stormy is safe, she's got a warm belly, and I have a warm heart. Seeing this entire Animal Friends of the Valley's team jump into action to save a life like they do countless times every day. While all of this is happening, I find out that Sophia's meet and greet is actually happening right now. Well, let's go see how it's going. At this point, my heart is pounding, it's racing, because there's so much at stake here. Sophia really has to find the right environment to thrive in. But as I started talking with her potential new mom and seeing how everything was going, I really saw that this could be it. This could be the right situation. Super high energy, but right. he likes to play. He likes to play, and then he goes, you know, and just hangs out and sleeps. So. Well, with his a little higher energy and her lower energy, you know, maybe maybe you can do that. It, right. This is all going really great. And she definitely is showing signs that she wants to adopt Sophia, but only if Sophia can pass the cat test because she has a cat at home. So here's how it works. The staff grabs a cat that's generally happy and friendly that doesn't get too stressed out. And they put them in a crate in the room with dogs. Now dogs that get really aggressive with the cats are likely not cat friendly or are going to take someone experienced that can help work the dog through this situation. But Sophia wants nothing to do with the cat. And this is very good because it likely means she just wants to mind her own business. She passed the cat test. So now all we gotta do is ask mom what she thinks. Mom said, let's do it, high five! Let's go tell Sophia. You going home, baby? 
you're going home. I know it's been a little bumpy, but you're going home, girl. Sophia's not going home today because she's gotta get spayed and then mom's gonna come back and get her, but she is adopted. And that makes me so happy. Thank you to everyone who has been a part of helping all of these dogs. Now Marty is still gonna need a home, so I need you to share this because we've got to get him into the right loving family that can give him time to decompress. And if you wanna be a part of all of this, become a member. It's really awesome to see this community coming together. We're able to help pay for adoptions. You're really contributing to helping these animals just like I am. And if you wanna buy my treats, we are keeping those ovens baking day in and day out. I would love for your dog to try them. I'll put the link down below or just go to rockykanaka.com slash jerky. It really makes a difference. You're supporting a small business and I'm just so proud of my treats. And so I want your dog to try them. And make sure you check out the pup date video for all the updates. I'll put it right here or you can just check the description below.